So I'm up here on the, um, I guess, what is it, the Mackenzie? No, I'm on, up on the, I'm past there. I'm, I'm up on, um, I don't know, I'm up in the woods, okay? Up in the woods on this butte, I think it's called Odell Butte. It's in between Willamette Pass and Crescent. Did some comedy tonight. Doing a lot of comedy here and there. I took a break. And then I just went and did a couple of nights. With some new material. Tried to go away from the sexual material. Did some... Tried some one-liners and things. and Yeah... I think something happened to me that isn't good for a young comic to have happen, although I'm not young. I'm pretty sure what has happened to me is... God, I hate that. I have succeeded a little too early in my development. I had a few big good runs. Three or four nights. One or two that were really good. And now that's all I want. Like that's that's all I want. I tonight it was a pretty good crowd, but I didn't go on till later. By the time I went on the crowd had dissipated down to a typical Eugene nothing crowd. And everybody was talking and getting ready to leave. And everybody's tired of comedy by the time I got up or something, you know. And before I even went up, I was already really disappointed because I was going to do a bunch of my best material for a crowd. The crowd dissipated. I got up and practiced some new stuff, got a couple of laughs, but I wasn't able to get my fix. Because now I need a fix. I need I need to hit it once. I need laughs. I don't get those. I'm unsatisfied and disappointed. And I just realized that's the next step in comedy. And I'm not sure I like it. I'm not sure I like being disappointed and unsatisfied. Kind of a junkie for laughs. Um... Because it really is. I was so bummed out when everybody had left before my set. Because I realized there was no chance to really get any big laughs with a big crowd. Because there's no crowd. And and then it just bummed me out. And I also realized that things aren't automatic. I did some stuff I did a few weeks ago that hit really hard. I hadn't done it in a while. I didn't do it that well. Didn't get a laugh. It was like a routine I'd gotten two, three really big laughs with every time I did it. And then I did it and it fell flat. And I realized I have to practice the stuff that works too. Like can't just practice new stuff, try to make it work, and figure that other stuff is in the bag. Have to rehearse it, too. Now that I know it, that's pretty boring. Um, but if I don't rehearse it, I won't do it right. I had some timing issues. You know, just, I just have to be up all the time, like I was. And, um, my second night, a lot better than the first, but I still had a few timing issues on a couple of jokes. Hit the punchline a little too fast. Ran it into the setup too much. That never works. You have to break it up. You know, if you run it right into it, they don't catch it. And there's a few punchlines that are best quick, but most of the time you need a hesitation before a punchline. Or punchline doesn't hit. Huh. But just this... God damn, I need I need a fix. I need to kill. I need a fucking crowd. 
And it'll be a while probably before I go again. I won't be able to go again until next week. So I'm going back home. Up here camping in the woods, having a good old time with my dogs, my cute dogs. There they are.